start. Oh. Everybody now in class and ready to continue to start topic and continue training. So first of all, I will continue material from previous lecture about important statistical analysis method, and especially we will concentrate on question related to correlation regression analysis. And one more point, even not closely related to statistical analysis, optimal management task solving. Okay. So first of all, about correlational analysis. In general, it's related to, uh, it's one of method which is used to determine possible relationship between uh, variables. So it's like second uh, steps of analysis after we uh, could use hypothesis testing to determine is it possible kind of effect of a label with proof yes or not. So we can learn to determine is it is it possible kind of specific relationship between variables? So multiply methods are available. Uh, I will only talk about correlation, uh, parametrics and parametric in brief. Uh, if need uh, more, okay, you can check statistical textbook for looking for others. Because it's actually slightly behind the scope of classes. So as shown at this slide, should be obvious, we use method to determine relationship between variables and measure how strong this relationship is. Uh, it's done through coefficient of correlation, market R, and measured between minus and plus uh, one, zero point. So of course it's closely to the CDR variables. We can talk about most strong relationship between variables. For sure, in reality, never one minus one or plus one never could happen in real life. So we can be uh, relatively far or closer to it. If correlation closely to uh, zero, so we can talk about not a label correlation. Major methods depend of uh, sample distribution type. So if we have normally distributed continuous variable or discrete variables, for sure, uh, it's obvious to use Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. And in case if we have uh, badly shaped our data set which not fit normal distribution, Spearman's run correlation uh, will be uh, better. And um, lady, I'm sorry. Look like maybe you will continue. I apologize. It's impossible to talk about any kind of mutual, suffers, uh, mutual respect in this case. You not respect my work? Okay, I will not respect your. <coughs> so here is, for sure, if you want to do it manually, we have formula on the left side. And we have a table for made assessment, all taken from statistical textbook. And uh, for sure, with spreadsheet and data set, you can directly implement that formula and get uh, values manual on, uh, on your own. But also with available automation tool and with availability of fixed function, we can make this calculation much more easy and quickly. Uh, so we have at least two ways. First of all, usage of coral function here. So there shown coral function, arguments to variable, to range, uh, like x and y variables, it could be linear, column, or even matrix, each one. And uh, attention function implement only Pearson correlation and did not check as the data normally distributed. So you are fully responsible to use a proper formula in proper condition. For example, you must test distribution type before you will want, you will be able to apply this function. And for sure, you can create visual representations this time with uh, 
liner, chat even possible, and you will have visual depiction of ideal positive-negative correlation, like uh, when one variable follow, uh, variable one value followed by another or op strongly opposite to it. I sign it's ideal case, in reality it doesn't have such situation. Uh, and in another approach, if you have more than two variables and want to retrieve a matrix of all possible parent correlation, in this case, data analysis to back correlation tool could help you. And as a result, you will have this one, all matrix of po all possible correlation. Attention, again, these things also implement Pearson co uh, correlation. If you want spearman rank correlation, you only do it on your own manually by formula. Uh, in this particular example, it's very uh, easy to determine that we have fine relationship between, extremely strong relationship between variable A and C. A and C, so this one value closely to one, and actually a very weak correlation between N, A, B, or B and C. Should be obvious from analyze the left triangle. Um, left bottom triangle. So it's like almost all about uh, correlation of analysis. Techniques look simple, but again, I actually almost completely skip question about choice of proper correlation method, as well as uh, left for you estimation about distribution type, which is must be done like previous time about hypothesis test, same way. Okay, move forward. After it uh, has been determined that we have relationship between two variables and its relationship relative strong, we can try to apply mathematical modern techniques. So especially we can use uh, uh, techniques called color fitting to reconstruction of mathematical model from our numerical data set uh, for, fish, for fuzzy simulation, especially in case if you have time series data, we have observation through time, and we want to predict, for example, future state. Future state? So this way it's fine reason to apply techniques called regressional analysis. So regressional analysis, it's general name of method and cover fitting. It's particular approach to implement regressional analysis. One of easiest way which could be done by using uh, spreadsheet application like Excel, OpenCalc, or even Google Spread. With general regression, uh, regressional analysis, you want to create model uh, for prediction our uh, further uh, future state of our uh, object or process, and cover fitting allow to do it by analysis of graphical representation of charts. If you forget from school, major model about, we have about five basic model, we can, which can be simple basic model, simplest basic model. So I don't consider more complex case. I will talk only about a model like according to logarithm, uh, linear, logarithmic, power, exponential, or polynomial uh, representation uh, or equations. So in all these cases, uh, aim of regressional analysis is to retrieve value of given coefficients, like A, B, C, and other. Yeah. And uh, which will fit your particular example, your specific data set. When you get this model, when you get this coefficient value, so you will have model which feel, fit your, uh, your, data, your data set. Uh, specific uh, condition. And spreadsheet allow to uh, like perform substituting and reconstruct such models, such six uh, five models from a graphical representation by using chart. By, use, by adding special features covered trend line to your uh, chart, uh, chart data, chart representation. And also Excel provide a reconstruct mathematical model and can depict this model along with trend line. So for this special tool, again, as I told Excel trend line, 
added its work in with XY scatterplot, line chart, bar chart, and several others. Not with all types, attention, not with all chart types. Just a uh, few chart types supply this feature. Moreover, even in cases you will use um, like liner or bar chart, it's possible in case if you have like your indiv independent variable, it's uh, categorical data type, not continuous. Uh, so even if you will use it, normalize it or stack it. Uh, liner, bar chart, sorry, trend line will not work. It's work only for clear um, straight line or color fitted uh, uh, line, but not for stack and normalizing. So actually it's relatively very easy to add the uh, thread line. You can try to click any existing chart data series and choose proper thread line, or you can extend thread line uh, uh, right panel. And actually the only difference between modern and uh, last spreadsheet version is uh, that in the past, trend line features was arranged in the dialog box. Right now, I'm able via side panel, like this one. And under number one, you can select particular model you want to implement. Here you have even more. We have extra moving average, mo moving average model, but this model, for this model, you will not be able to reconstruct the creation because it's not a simple model in general. And in this case, if you want to add the polynom thread line for you available, polynom up to six order, but actually be careful. Uh, if you will increase order power of your polynom, so it's very easy to fall into overfitting when your model will be extremely fine fit your existing data, but instantly became incorrect behind limit of your experiment. And even with this graphical tool, you can immediately try to create forecasting for one two periods. It's already done on this chart here, this part of dashed line. And you can display a creation as well as assessment of a goodness of fit. So here is you have, if you given mathematical equation, uh, reconstructed from your thread line and with a square value, normalized coefficient of correlation. I sign normalize it because we might, we, in this case, it's no matter if we have positive or negative correlation. It's reason why we get square of correlation. So again, with the rational analysis, we use a less square, uh, square uh, approach to determine is it uh, our model have uh, enough uh, quality, like looking for difference between uh, data reconstructed by model and obtained to our experiment, and we have, we have minimal difference, so our model will be uh, the best. Okay, now, uh, live example with multiply, another chat data series with multiply, um, multiply uh, thread line being added to the series, and here we have multiply different model, like liner, logarithmic, exponential, and power. And in this particular case, best and uh, largest F square value, we can see it's available for liner model. So in this case, it will be the best uh, model for to fit your data experiment. In your practical example, probably you'll have another model which will fit another data series. But definitely you will have it on your classes. Okay, now move into one more uh, question related to, uh, not fully related to uh, statistical analysis, but definitely related to data analysis and uh, data processing with spreadsheet. So a brief introduction into optimal management task solving by example of transportation problem. They are brought about even transshipment assignment problems, but actually practically I will, with given for me time, I will consider only transportation problem. So in general, uh, we are talking about application of linear programming problems or network flow models. 
Uh, and the linear programming, you must understand, not the computer software development, I'm sorry, not. If we are talking about solving of system of binary creation. And you will consider it from mathematical modeling viewpoint, I sign. My emphasis will be on mathematical modeling uh, approach. So given problems, given class, or extremely large class of problem have multiplied different applications within different areas of the human's activity, technical, social, engineering, and up to here scale. So uh, practically I will consider example which is more related to business situation rather than uh, here scale itself. But anyway, it could be a signal, it could be fine even in our real life because a segment problem very closely tied, very tightly related to question like creating schedule even for educational case. If you consider mathematical background for a problem to create schedule for education, we will see it that it's actually one of case of general transportation or a segment optimal management task problem. Even if it could be solved manually without computer software. Mathematically, it still fall into this area. A clear uh, transportation problem itself related to the distribution of some goods. Some items must be delivered from source point to destination point. No matter what we are talking about, uh, if it's uh, like something consistent or different units, actually it's not significant. With, with uh, mathematical modeling, we can use a, uh, like normalization by weight or volume, and after that we can bring any uh, different type of view of real world things into some abstract units which could be delivered in a particular position. So we have two major goals like cost or time effectiveness. We like we must perform minimal cost delivery or minimal time delivery. Uh, and in reality, we have more complicated situation like transshipment and multiply stage delivery option. But I will consider only simplest case to provide only like essential of this idea. So same way we can consider assignment model like uh, uh, assignment model or assignment problem. It's, uh, it's related class of line programming problem, and it's involved in mining efficient assignments for people supporting service to territories, contract to buyers, or create scheduling for, for example, uh, education. In this case, it's also sometimes called super transport uh, problems because we have like multiply assignments at a time, uh, like students to subjects, classes, uh, teachers, and all this in one uh, with multiply extra limitation and condition. So, mathematically, we can define transportation model like we have M uh, source, and each item, uh, uh, each source, each item the source has supply capacity of some particular S for I value, and then available N destination, and each destination has been filled with uh, some given uh, amount of goods. And we have two possible, we must pursue two or one of the, or one of payer goals at a time, not together. Minimal time or minimal uh, shipping cost. Also time as well as cost must be now. We must now, this, we must have this information about what time we need to deliver the items from particular M. Um, from particular source to particular destination, or how many it will cost. It must be noun values. <coughs> so as a result, uh, uh, goal will be determined particular number of uh, goods that must be transferred from specific source to specific destination <coughs> in uh, this goal to achieve this uh, result. So we can depict possible 
uh, possible routes, all possible routes, all possible shipping routes with the following chart. And there is we have like capacity as well as requirements, so resource and request from uh, from destination, request from destination and resource available at source capacity. And I will uh, go uh, create uh, and so things that I uh, talk, we have now cost. So consider we will we will pursue it cost effectiveness transportation. So cost given, and we want to, we want to create optimal delivery plan. Uh, mathematically, it will be it could be it must be represented as the following equation. When we multiply all possible combination of uh, shipment plan, and at intersection we have this coefficient. On intersection of previous shipping routes, we will have this coefficient, all this coefficient, all this x. It's actually intersection of shipping routes. So we need to determine this uh, roots of this equation with minimum shipping cost, which is actually unknown at the moment. And for us given, we can represent like decline of availability at uh, source point and increasing of resources of destination point. And here is, at this, as, a result, as a result, we would say you system of linear equation. When we solve it against X, we will be able to get uh, our optimal solution. So just a problem that if you want to calculate it manually, it's actually lots of writing and uh, significantly difficult to process it. Actually, 20, about 25 years ago, I ha had this, no, less, about 22, when I was uh, third year students. I have such experience, manually can calculate these things. It's not difficult, it's just a lot of time and a lot of writing. So, with the help of computer software, we can get results like about in second. And in Excel, I have a special tool called Excel Solver, which allow for us to get correct results. But before it, before we will be able to work with Excel Solver, we need to create something like specific layout. When? Where we will, we will need to depict our resources, decline of resource there in this part, also, increasing of uh, uh, f fitting of request in this section. Also, there in the light yellow shown our transportation plan. Here is we have already solved the result. It's already done solution. But is it optimal? We don't know actually. And given transportation matrix and this one objective function which represent actually our which return will return our shipping cost minimal shipping cost uh, total shipping cost in general and it's minimizing so it's the object of minimization uh, procedure as you can see some products uh, pretty simple it's we just multiply cost matrix but transportation plan matrix but you must be aware that at the beginning transportation ma uh, matrix full with zero only. We don't have any value there. As a result, objective function return value, return zero two. And to get solution, we need this things, solver, which will actually perform, implement simplex linear programming mathematical algorithm. And according to this algorithm, perform substituting of possible value within transportation matrix there in order to help to retain you minimal because I have objective function minimization to have minimal value of our target cell which is objective function so target cell fit with objective function and we have this uh, we can change change in cell it should be fit with our transportation plan and we have subjects of, uh, of constraints or list of limitation which must be uh, fitted. And it's actually, we can see, we must have fit this requirements, net flow here, net flow. Okay, how this work, how this, this model works perfectly. 
in one condition. If this condition is met, or we have balanced transportation problem, or we have equivalence between resources and request, like total resource equal total request. In reality, in reality, it never happens also. It's every time we have an equivalence. So in this case, if you try to use model directly, it will, or for sure you will calculate result, but it will be in optimal. So to get optimal solution, we need to provide established balance or uh, past feasibility condition, and we need to create dummy objects, dummy or imaginary objects. I sign, students, please. I'm spoken about mathematical solution. No matter for me right now, what do we have in reality? So I'm working ideal mathematical solution. If I doesn't have, for example, like I have more resources that request uh, order it for me to get in, uh, with Google to get optimal solution, what do I need? It's only introduce dummy demand point, which will utilize extra resources. That's already in reality, no problem. It will be left at uh, warehouses and we will never transport it. I just need this. So for example, if I have uh, like uh, extra classes and no students or teachers to fit it, no problem. I can imagine, okay, how we have more students and teachers to get optimal solution. Honestly, in our university, we have opposite case. We have, we doesn't have enough classes, actually. And should be obvious that when we add dummy objects, cost must be zero because it will be never transported goods. They left for next interaction for next day and so on. Much more difficult situation if it doesn't have enough resources. And that is exactly what do we have right now in university when sometimes we don't have a place to to perform to have classes with students. And that's exactly what do we have. But mathematical solutions still work and it's still possible. We can just imagine, okay, we have enough classes, we have imaginary rooms. And in this case, in transportation goods, it's like imaginary dummy souls, dummy warehouse with imaginary capacity. So, and here is what capacity we will need to introduce. Same way, uh, transportation cost will be again zero because nothing to be transported, but we will be able to obtain correct mathematical solution with adding imaginary resources. Okay, to provide this, to depict this live example, uh, similar you will have on uh, your practical classes. So there, above, above for us given uh, so actually what do we, uh, Live example about transportation medicines to from uh, like pharmacy warehouse to pharmacy shops, and there we have an equivalence because we have this balance between resource and request, so selected under file number, selected with red. As you can see at the beginning, transportation plan number four is filled by zero, filled by zero. And only under number one and two given array of resources and requests and given transportation cost. So we need in this particular case, if we have lack of resource, lack of real resource, we provide dummy resource. We provide, we introduce dummy warehouse at the bottom part under number, uh, under uh, D label which will offer for us necessary imaginary resources. It's like difference between the, and the number three and the arrows, difference between total real resource or the real request. And for sure, transportation cost is zero. And we need to introduce necessary function like objective function, multiplication matrix, and function for flow in, flow out. Then, after we fill our solver, example how it could be solved. Attention, students, it's actually exactly what you will do in your practice. So example how we can fill solver. 
Here is objective function must be provided here. Go of generation minimum. Uh, change in variable, it's our transportation plan. At this time, we have results. It's like uh, they are given states after hill press and so on. And conclusion. Our results must be integer, so we done that does not separate units. We operate by uh, consistent units, like where by weight or, or volume. And here we have throw out must be equal resources, and throw in must be equal request. So our three constraints met, and we got our results. Okay, it's actually all uh, what I want to talk about previous topic. I signed previous topic, I'm sorry. And 